All right, well, welcome everybody. My name is Keith Kane. I'm here at the PGA Tour Superstore in Greenwood Village in Colorado. I want to welcome everybody to Kane's Corner. This is my office. I enjoy working with y'all, and I look forward to working with y'all in the future. Today's lesson is going to be about gas, G-A-S, about the grip, the alignment, and the setup. Getting posture, getting ball position, and getting the uh, weight in the right place is what every golfer, when you watch, successfully do it, do consistently. So let's get into this. So the first thing that we talk about is the grip. How we hold the golf club is very important. We want to make the golf club as light as possible. So the main thing that we want to work on is most players will actually hold the golf club in the hand like this. That makes the golf club very heavy. And to be to talk about physiology is you're actually really concentrating on getting it more in the fingers. So what this does is by securing the golf club in the fingers, we're putting the hand on top of the golf club. This makes the golf club lighter and it allows a little bit easier rotation and flexion in the wrist. So once we get the left hand on there, we connect the right hand and the most common error that we see is we actually cover that right left thumb with the right hand. We want to be able to see half of your left thumb when we set the, golf, the hands on the golf club. So once we get the grip in place, the next thing that we talk about is A, alignment. The way that we set our body up to the target tells the golf club where it's going to travel, how it can travel, and also how fast it can travel in relationship to the target. So if we're set up wrong, the ball is going to be set up wrong to hit the ball in the wrong direction. So the way that we acquire this is we talk about the hips, the shoulders, the knees, and the feet. If these are going in opposite directions, you actually are causing torque in the body, which makes it very difficult to swing. But if all of our stars are aligned, our shoulders, our hips, our knees, and our feet are aligned to the target, now the ball has a better chance of going at target. So once we get the alignment down, the next thing is setup. Posture is the first thing in the setup. Posture is acquired by bowing like we're going to Japan and we're bowing to the ball so that our buttocks gets a little bit more behind us instead of under us. God put it on us for a reason and it's to play golf. So if we could get the back pockets high by bowing to the golf ball, letting our arms hang off of the shoulders. Now you'll notice that my back in this position is fairly straight. You'll see a common problem with the back being hunched and our knees being real bent. Very hard to move this golf club in motion. So once we get our posture, the next thing that we talk about is the ball position. The easiest way to talk about ball position is in a static position. If we set this golf club up about one club head off of our left foot with our feet fairly narrow for the shorter clubs, fairly wide for the longer golf clubs, that ball position really does not change, so it's a consistent factor to hit a golf ball. So once we get that ball position, all that we have to think about is weight distribution. What we want to do is we want to be more right side, left side oriented on a right handed golfer. And from this position, we're making the golf swing feel right side, left side orientation. Right side, left side. So the most important thing before you hit a golf ball is to set up for success before you move it. 